everyone let's get started with this video where we'll try to see how to install open cv on raspberry pi 5 computer and not just installation we'll also try to create a sample code to test if the installation has went well or not for the purpose of this video and for all my experiments i am only using the python libraries so i will not go into the open cv c or c++ libraries so this is purely for python experimentations so let's get started now the first thing to do is definitely connect to your Raspberry Pi. I have uh, my Raspberry Pi installed and which is connected or which is accessible on this IP address. I'll use VNC connect 192.168.1.17 authentication and here is my Raspberry Pi setup. Now to just test it out whether the OpenCV already exists or not. I'll simply open Thony and then I'll use import CV2 and you'll see I have an error, no module named CV2. Now let's see what are the steps to install OpenCV on Raspberry Pi. Now for that sake, just open the terminal first, the usual Raspberry Pi command prompt. Now, uh, whenever you want to do any kind of installation, the first thing we usually do is sudo apt get update that just updates your raspberry pi software package repositories or the links after which you can start installing the packages now this is done now before installing opencv i need to install a very highly dependent library called numpy now what is numpy what is opencv i'll explain that to you in a separate video or subsequent videos for sure for now let's understand that you need to install numpy and like before, you will not, uh, the PIP3 install command will not work on this bookworm OS. So instead, what you need to do is sudo apt get install python3 hyphen numpy. That's how you will install the python packages. So sudo apt get install and then python3 numpy. Previously, we were doing PIP3 install. The PIP3 install will still work for some packages, but not for this one. Now the NumPy installation has started. One more thing I want to tell you, please remember to do sudo apt get update install python3 NumPy. If you do python hyphen NumPy, it won't work, okay? Now that NumPy has installed, the next thing to do is sudo apt get install python3 hyphen opencv. Again, the same instruction, please do not do sudo apt get install python hyphen opencv do python3 hyphen opencv now python3 opencv has installed now let's see if it has installed correctly or not and let's also try to see if we can write a program and do something some basic image processing so let me try the same command again import cv2 now you see we don't have an error so let's try to create a program for it and then let's try to run it. Now for that, what I have done is I have created a folder called PyCV testing and there is a sample image as well. So this is a tulips image which I'll use for the basic experimentation. And now let's try to write a program for it. Let's test this tulip image first. What it is, how it looks like, then we can start writing the code for it. Okay, while it's opening, I'll close the terminal, I'll open Thony, and let's start writing some code. So the very first line definitely should be import cv2. As said, okay, this is the tulips image. Let's close it for now. As said, I will not explain anything uh, in this video. We'll just test it out. Then uh, let's open an image. So image is equal to cv2.imread. The location is simple slash home slash pi slash uh, what's the name of that folder pi cv testing pi cv testing slash tulips dot png yeah, that's it now cv2 dot i am show let's give it some name or the title that appears on it so let me call it original and let's display the image now cv2 dot wait key 
this wait key is basically uh, to wait or it will keep showing the original image unless you press escape next gray image is equal to cv2 dot cvt color that's the name of that image comma cv2 dot color if you do control space you will see those functions as well so what i need is color underscore bgr to gray yeah that's it so we have created a gray image as well in this object called gray underscore image then cv2 same function used before uh, gray scaled let's give it some name comma gray underscore image again the same thing cv2 dot weight key zero and then after all of this is done then cv2 dot destroy all windows so basically what will happen is this weight key is nothing but you will give escape and then only it will proceed further but the window still remains as it is the original as well as grayscale so once we have done everything when you put the escape here when you give the escape key here it will destroy all windows uh, i said i would not explain everything but yeah, basic understanding is good now let me save this code and i want to save this code in the same location pi cv testing let me call it cv hello world dot pi now the code is done I hope there are no errors. Let's try to run it. So this is the original. As you can see, it's titled original. It's waiting for escape key. After the escape key is given, it has shown the grayscale image. So this is the original tulips image. This is the grayscale image. I'll give another escape. That's the end of the code. Ignore the warnings for now. We'll see what those warnings are and what their significances are in the subsequent videos. So this is how you install the OpenCV and this is how you test it on Raspberry Pi 5. In the description of the video, the commands are also written. So no need to go back to see them there. You can directly copy and paste them and use it. Post any queries if you have. Thanks for watching this video.